Hello, welcome back to another section of Uncle Sam Online Tutorial. Remember, before you do any other thing, to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my social media handle. In today's class, we are going to be considering what the basic laws of what logarithm. Remember, we have further we have treated the laws of indices in time past, so we are stepping it all up with a new law, which are the laws of what logarithm. Now, if you don't already know, indices and logarithm share some similarity; they have a relationship with what each other in the sense that logarithm and indices both of them make use of the same base just like in indices if i have two times two raised to power four multiplied by what four raised to power two now i can't solve this because first of all i have to change this four to be in the same base and four squared is same thing as what two squared is same thing as four so you have that two raised to power four multiplied by what two raised to power two for this four then raised to power another what two so which you further give out two raised to power four multiplied by two raised to power Multiply the powers you have 4, which is same as 2 to the power. In indices, you just add what the powers 4 plus 4, which is 2 raised to the power 8. So both logarithm and indices share the same word, the same base. Now let's go. The first law of logarithm here says that log of mn is same as log log m plus what log what n. So that means if you are given what two log um samples, provided that they have the same base, you just have to what pick one of the base. And what multiply the log. For example, if we have log log of two base four plus log of two base five. Yes, these two expression they have the word the same word the same base the same base two. So all I need to do is what pick one of the base. So I will just write log of base two. Then I will multiply what the numbers here four times five, and that is going to give me what log of base two. 10 log 10 and base 2 so that's what it's going to give me so that's what our addition of what logarithm does addition simply means once they have the same base multiply the log there thank you now in the next one we have what the division just like in division in indices division means what subtraction of the powers so in this case now it means dividing the individual word log now provided they have the same word the same base again so if i have the same expression here log of base 2 4 minus what log of base 2 2 so since i have the same base uh, subtraction is the, the division sign so once it's subtraction you just have to what, pick one of the base log of base 2 then you what you divide the individual what numbers here yeah. so you're going to be 4 over 2 which is going to give me what log of base 2 2 so i just have log of 2 base 2 which is same thing as what one but we are coming to that so that's what what the division of what logarithm what it means it means subtraction so this also means that you can separate this if you have for example you have a value like log of 5 over 4 base 2 you can simply separate this to mean log 2 share the base base to each of the number log base 2 5 minus because division means minus what log of base 2 4 so this is what it also what means you can separate it then the next law is what log of 1 base b is equal to 0 now let's prove this law how do we prove it remember that 1 i can represent 1 to be b raised to power 0 so i can now change this expression to be log of what base b then i'll change my 1 here to be what b raised to power what 0 Yes, because any value or any parameter raised to the power of 0 will give us what? 1. So what do I do? What do I do here? What I'm going to do is what? This 0 will come here. Eh? Because that's one of the rules of logarithm. The, result, the power here will come back here. So I have what? 0 multiplied by what? Log of what? B base B. And you know that if 0 multiply anything at all, it will give you back what? 0. And also that log of, log of B and base B. When a log has the same base, it's same thing as what 1. So this is same thing as 0 times 1, which is what 0. So that's why this law is here. Okay? Now we go to the next law, which is what? Log of n raised to the power k base b is equal to what? k log what? n what? base b. What it simply means is, once you have a log, if there's a way you can what? Simplify the log to a, a smaller base, you can push the power thereof. Push it backward. For example, if I have log of 2, log of base 2, 8. Now, there's a way I can simplify this 8 because 2 raised to the power what? 3 is 8. So I can just do log of 2 raised to the power 3 
then base 2. Then what I want to do, what this law implies here is that I'll push the power backward. So it helps to simplify logarithm. So what it means is I'm going to do 3 multiplied by what? What I have remaining is what? Log 2 base 2. I know the log of any number to its base is equal to 1. So I can further simplify this to be 3 times. This will just give me 1 and that is 3. So it's a way of simplifying what? Logarithm. Lastly, we have a log of any number to its base is equal to 1. Yes, so that's what it means. Because if you solve it this way, because logarithm, the basic rule of logarithm means that if I have log b base b is equal to k or the, the log b base a, it basically means that what? b is equal to what? a raised to the power what? k. That's what it basically means. So let's verify that law. To verify that law now, we're going to put some values here. Let's say we have log log 2, log base 2, and I have 8. And they say that it is equals to what? 3. Yes. So what this one is trying to tell us that log of 8 base 2 is equals to 3. So how do you verify it? We simply do like what? That 8, which is this, is same thing as what? The base to the power of 3. And that is what it basically means. So these are the basic laws of what logarithm. If you have any question or comment, please come to the comment section. Let's talk. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye-bye.